don't know what temperature it is in the UK, but here in Holland, it's kind of like spring in the day, isn't it, Beak? And then yeah, in the night, it, it can still go freezing. Some days it's actually quite warm, and other days it's like Baltic. I don't get it. We're close to be having summer days. Sometimes in March in Holland, we're going to get days where, no joke, you begin. You can eat outdoors, chill outdoors, get a tan, won't you? Yeah. This is the thing here, it gets colder than it does in the UK, but it gets way, way hotter. It's yeah. like being on holiday, isn't it? Yeah, it's night, it's lush in the Yeah, winter. how's it going? Uh, in the summer. Hey, Jeffrey. Ready for a big day? Yeah. Tell JLC TV about the break even as well. So basically, you can leave this number in, what I'm about to say, Marshall, is I set the target that we buy breakfast if we do 15 grand gross profit. Now, gross profit is the profit before you take the salaries, the rent, the electricity, everything, all that kind of stuff. Now, it cost us £210,000 a month just to keep the doors of this place open. So therefore, it's like, what, on a working day, £12,000 a day? So £15,000 to get breakfast it isn't that crazy. And that just goes to show the actual like, requirement of this company. If we do less than twelve grand on average, the company's actually losing money. That's collective between both offices. But yeah, mega. See, there's a serious, serious burden. Now imagine you start from zero every single month and you've got 200, what, 210, 220, 220 to play safe. It's a lot, isn't it, mm, It really is. But it's fun, you know? I didn't want to say the breakfast amount without people thinking that was a tire on like 15 grand to get breakfast. Well, like, yeah, it takes 12 grand before we even start making money and there's like 40 odd people. How many people we got? 40 odd people. Do you know how many people there is? <laughs> you don't. So we just employed a new person here yeah. that starts on 1st of March. I'll tell you now how many people it is. So break even each day. And that's why like our goal is to get through break even as fast as we can. What happens at a certain point in business, it doesn't become about making money. It just becomes about covering the things that cause a threat to the business. Now what causes a threat to the business? Cash and profit. The quicker we can get paid by people, the better. And the quicker we can get to a level where the company's not losing money. And we do lose money sometimes, even 13 years after being established, like we lost money in December. I know I go on about that every time, but I use that as a marker. What's the plans for the week, BC? It was a good day yesterday, first of the week, and it's good. Just... Anything you were expecting? Yeah, Jack, he's expecting 500 adapters that didn't come in yesterday. Oh yeah, what about that big dog that's going to come in for Laura? She, we didn't hear yesterday, so hopefully we'll hear more today. He's still live, yeah? Still live, yeah. Um, Any other stuff come up with them guys? Yeah, should have something. This week, I think we really, really need to make money in Europe. 400 cables in Germany. We've got 400 cables in Germany. Confirm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 13 working days left. 13 working days left. Go to break even. Hopefully, we can conclude that by end of play tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then have two days in this week. 13 working days left? 13, yeah. Be a big week. Good yeah. month, couldn't it? Yeah. I still think the target is decent. We're gonna fly through what we did last month. We got some big ops, haven't we? Yeah. I feel like if you just say it, it always ends up being what you want it to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or at least it'll be close. Yeah. So yeah, how are guys back home doing? Yeah, good. Joel's super busy, but has been quite quiet on orders the last couple of days, but he said he's been, the, he's the busiest he's ever been. Ever been? Ever been, like he says it's manic. Penny has been having great days, so that's great. Is she busy on quotes as well? Yeah, she's busy as well, she says. Rick had a really good day yesterday. Are they? Uh, did he? Yeah. And really good on quotes as well? I didn't check up with Rick on quotes, I'm assuming so, but I can't confirm. Are they all reporting that right now it's the busiest they've been on quotes? Yeah, so Everyone Jack, is saying that. Jack, Joel and Penny, so they've not been busier. Ah, that's mm -hmm. great. And um, I hadn't asked that same question to Penny and Rick, but I know Penny's been really busy. Well, fingers crossed for a big day today. Fingers crossed for a big day. Hopefully the bell is rung a few times today. Yeah. We'll go get the sandwiches in a second. Yeah. And yeah, sandwich target is 15 grand gross profit for the day. For the one time only, we can keep that in. But it changes daily. It's just what the company needs. And we can survive on 15 grand a day because it has been pretty busy. But if we were quiet, it could be significantly more than that. So that's why we're blanking it out. You don't know what it's previously been. Ready for a big week? Big week, big week. Nice. Should be. We got some What's the deal you're going to speak into existence today? Oh, all, all of them. Time is 8.30. Ready for a big day. So 7.30 UK, we're ahead of the game right now. So, And I think everyone in the UK probably gets annoyed. I've been messaging everyone since like half four. I woke up at half three here and I didn't start messaging until like an hour. I tried to like sleep, but I couldn't. Anyway, yeah, so I've been blowing people's phones up about like all kinds of work already. But I explicitly tell people, you don't have to message back. Like, it's just so I've got it and I've sent the message and people have told, been told to mute the group chats, you know? So yeah, I hope I didn't keep anyone up. It's going to be 
a very big day. Today, James had some good news to tell the camera. So some good news. Earlier on, I said to the guys, and I think you'll have to go back to say to the video, but I said commit to an order. And this is the order that I said to commit to? Yeah. Oh yeah, what about that big dog that's gonna come in for Laura? Yeah, well, is it? Ah! Cool, so we got it on the video. Yeah. Right, okay, so first things first, Anytime it's a big order, over a thousand euros or a thousand pounds, I put a message into the group chat. It's 2,700 euros. So what a good order from Jules. Fantastic work, brother. Great job. Nice, let's go and fist pump him. And I got another one which won't go in the group, which was for 250 turnover for nice. the same company. All right, sick. So like red fist between the two of them. And Laura got another product. <laughs> just a small one, so it means that's picking up. Oh, nice. The 27 and the 250, bro, that's red fist. Mm -hmm. And nice one lower on the second order. <laughs> What's uh, the vols like in the UK? Super busy. Super busy? Super busy. Busier than it's been all month. I'm surprised how busy it is. Yeah, it's really? literally manic. So that's good. And like, we've got loads, you won't see in the group, like 300 here, 300 there, 300 here. So it'll all add up. So do you reckon circa 100 orders on the one o'clock update? I think You're so. You're going to be hard to account because we'll be doing the update. All right. What's the number that you guess? 104. 104, mm -hmm. okay. And what's the busiest you've ever seen? 110 springs to mind and it was recent. Yeah, I don't. I can't remember any other than that. And the busiest closer play that we've had? Busiest closer play, 200 and something. See, I, we said 225 of the day. Yeah. I said that was the most. And Barry said it wasn't. We had one more time that was bigger. Really? But I don't remember the one. What do I? Do you reckon it was a high two, something north of 250? Oh, if there was, it would have been loads of singles. Even on a single day, I don't remember. I can't remember. Mm, I wouldn't remember though. I'm not very good at remembering. So Europe is 60 something, 62 with the singles. Yeah. 17 on the chip. Yeah, yeah. Great start to Europe now, and we've had a goodish start to the UK. Loads of run rates. So I'm going to just do a report now and see what we're on for the UK. Imagine if this is it. Imagine if this is us getting back to being like crazy, crazy. I busy. know. The guy, and I speak to the guys again this morning. Wow, I speak to Joel, Henny, and Jack, and they just can't keep up. Like Jack's. His, his, literally I've got so many ops and he, they all need it for March so it means they're gonna have to place in Feb. This is the busiest you've ever seen Feb? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Normally Oops. we start to see it heating up in Feb on the back end ready for March don't we? We never see yeah. it busy like yeah. this in no, Feb. No. Normally it's like oh we have three weeks of not really doing much and then the last yeah. week we hammer loads out and that's how we skate through the teeth yes. in, in Feb. But now we're having like a bona fide stand on its own sick Feb. Yeah. Which and this is really like a first of its kind. And it's good because our, I think it is, and our supply is back to work on Monday, like, so that's the 19th, so hopefully he can start sending stuff straight away so that we can, yeah, close strong. I think one of the reasons why December was stressful with being quiet is because you know we've got quiet times coming, so like, yeah, yeah. you're expecting when you yeah. need to have big months, you're like, for F's sake, we had a quiet month where it should have been big, and then I know I'm going to have a quiet month in Feb. Yeah. But like, we've done the reverse made a lot of money in Jan and it looks like God willing we're gonna make a lot of money this month as well and imagine if this is still the trend so imagine if Feb is still quiet for us at the moment but it's just that the market's picked up and then when we head into like June July whatever it returns to how busy it was before yeah any new we're just saying imagine it's if Feb is quiet bro and this is quiet still yeah. and like when we're in March it's gonna be <gasps> even crazier it's kind of we got in UK it's uh it's Man, it's picking yeah. up yeah it's picking up is it and, it's, and they said oh um, it needs to be in voice by the end of March. I've heard that a few times. So, much, I've so, that. so that's normally mm. we get busy for March from the last week of Feb, don't we? So the mm. fact we're busy now means that Feb is its bona fide standalone mo month. I'm it? hoping this is a normal month. Uh, I think last year was quiet. Yeah. I think I'm hoping February is the same as a, uh, I don't know, like a May, which is just a normal month. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like January. That's what I said. Yeah. So, so that's what I mean. Like, hope this might not be busy. Mm, but Imagine if this yeah, is just normal so, and March is the pickup. So last one in the in you. Uh, we didn't have a great month purely because of the first two weeks. Yeah. Which was <laughs> but take them out of it, that we had a really strong finish. And the back end is always strong, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so I, th I think more than anything, it's just we had a, a quite. January's picking up on Christmas. So I'm, I'm, I think this is. I'm hoping this could be a normal, normal month now. I'm hoping this is a normal month and we still see the uptick in March yeah. and April. So that if we do, like, I reckon we're going to outperform January in this month. And oh, then yeah. imagine we smash this month as we should do in March mm. and then we beat March again in April. Because even April, quite a lot of the time, is busy than March, isn't it? It was huge. April, April was busier last year. So we should step up from here. Yeah.
because yeah, April so is when stop, it carries on is, is the when they can't afford uh, a lot of people are kind of buying nothing more actually they've got no money left yeah. I'll say the reason why I stress with December being crappy is because normally you bank on December for profit bank on January for profit knowing that Feb goes yeah. but now we're on trajectory to make more than we did in January which and is mad and all our deliveries from China the majority but I don't know if you checked it yet you probably have what's, what's the likelihood of it again up for this month so he comes back in Monday next week Monday, so, so, we got, so um, we've got a whole week Mm. and I figured we can send anything that he sends the Monday of the week after as well because yeah. it should land by the Friday. We haven't sent any money up to Chinese New Year. I'm okay. going to start sending money on Friday and then have the bills concluded by the end of the month. Sure, perfect. Yeah, we've got, we've got time. We've got a good seven working days of him back in the office to send goods. And we've got 12 working days after today. When does it open after up again? 19th? 19th, he's back in. So not everyone will be back yet, but if there's stuff in stock, he'll start sending on the 19th. As you just saw, Owen really likes his new watch. Perfect, exciting. You prefer Excellent. that to a normal watch? Oh, I love this. I, I, this is my best watch I've ever had. Did you never get back to normal watch now you've had that? My normal nice watch is, that's just for a special occasion. Yeah. The day to day work. I Would you be stressed now if you got to work and you didn't have that on? Like, no, I don't know how much your heart rate is. You all, know all, all the this. time, my sleep, everything. So, so would you, exactly you know, like you say you wouldn't go to the gym without a heart rate lamp because yeah. you've got a heart. Oh, like now, this. would you not go to sleep unless you had that on? It's, it's meant though. Like, I, I need to put mine back on. I wanted to measure my sleep, the one you got yeah. me. I was watching yeah, Wales against England in a rugby on a Saturday. Yeah. And I had I, my phone, my watch started vibrating. It's like, ding, 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 ding. And it said on it, it's like, in short, uh, my heart rate, uh, and I was, I wasn't moving. So for standing still, my heart rate for the last 20 minutes has been over 120. Wow. <laughs> Stress. <laughs> Just when you take rugby serious. Oh, God. Sick. Well, All right. Big, big, big. I feel so much better now. We've got our order in. Yeah, so, great. Um, great. I could not, I could not chill out, but it feels good that... Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have a good day now. It I takes the stress out of the day now, isn't it? So yeah. we, like, pretty well, much I'm, covers the cost of Europe. Grand, I, I'm aiming for now, every day. It's yeah. on, on the worst, worst case, get back a little bit, but yeah. what we need now. That's the, that's the 40 grand then. Yeah. Cool. All right, bro, let's go. Sick, should be good. So with the Chinese New Year, what we normally do is because we have to order loads of stock in January to cover for pretty much like a month and a half while it's all disrupted, we normally come to payment terms with them. So currently, right now, I think we owe China around three hundred thousand dollars but we always clear up the entirety of the money before chinese new year starts so i'll pay a lump off on friday and then i'll conclude the rest next week and then we start fresh that's basically the way chinese new year works but we always do a deal with him so it's not like we drag out we say look we need to buy more stock than we need because your your factories are shut so can you give us more time to pay since we're going to have to have time to sell the stock and it works out in everyone's best interest and we all do the best what we can with the cash that we have. Now we have a look at the pre 1 p.m. update. Okay, so on what time is it over in the UK? Um, 10 to 12. Yeah, so we've got an hour and 10 right. minutes until the 1 p.m. update. And so far, so good. We're on a very good. How many? Say that again, sorry. How many orders are we on so far? No, I don't. But I it's don't. going off, yeah. Yeah, I can go So find yesterday, out. I think we were on 110 orders at 1 o'clock. Is it busier than it was yesterday? It seems it. But I'm, I, sometimes it, I'm proved wrong on that, but it seems busier. So in between when we last caught up, uh, Josh had a good order for 2,400 and also Harry yeah. just had a good order come through. So Harry and Josh both each other's tails, which is cool. Fantastic work, Harry. Great job, brother. Keep them coming, man. Nice. Good day all around. So we're already having a big day in, U, in Europe. Yep. And now we're having a big day with the new guys over in UK too. Mm -hmm. So Harry and Josh are kind of the new guys. They've been doing this for about a year and a half, but it's such a long progression. The guys who do big, big numbers here have been here many, many years. So it's good seeing them both pull meaningful numbers on today. Cool, so hopefully when we check in for the one o'clock, we're gonna have a good number both sides of the camp. Yeah, yeah. Easy breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, easy breakfast. So far, the only order we've had that was even worthy of like a shout out was 1800 from who? Jack, and it was a split with Penny. Nice, Jack and Penny. Yeah, nothing else Perfect. Yet. Well, I held the guys to the fire over there, and Laura's got 350 folio cases for iPhone coming. And then we have Jules, you have to blank this part, <laughs> is starting. I think we've now, basically one of the biggest things, you'll hear in one of the earlier episodes, not the new vlog format episodes, one of the episodes we did like last month, one of the biggest challenges, which Owen is super, super sick at, is getting a loyalist within the company. Because once you get a company signed on, great, they're gonna use JLC to buy all of their peripherals, but are you gonna be able to get the account managers? Because okay, you have the company now agrees to buy from us, but each individual account manager needs to have an asphyxiation towards you and not to whoever else is trying to sell them phone cases, cables, whatever. So Jules has just about got someone 
You won't really get many quotes from them. You'll have to blank the name of that again uh, in Marshall. case you missed it, Marshall. But yeah, so how did you do that? So um, Owen had a few conversations on the phone with the, with the guy there, the main guy there. And now he's starting to get quotes where he never had them before. Yeah. Nice. They, had a, they had like a meeting, a meeting together. We gave people a pass, like I said, we were just off of breakfast yesterday, like you saw us do the update, but we're getting breakfast in a second. But I just want to find out what the quotes were. But he's on a meeting right now. Oh, yeah. oh, I was just saying about the like getting the loyalists, and that's been two years that I count on it. Yeah. And now they've just started getting quotes because we finally got someone to get on our team. All he needs, what? All he needs, one person. And he's, he's spreading the words, so people come to us off and people spoke to us. But he's, a, he's, a, he's a good guy and he's actually, I think he I think he's admires our persistency, like we yeah. have kept on. What was Jules' technique to get him then? He reached out to him, yeah. copied me in, uh, and he's, he, he comes to us in English, because so he, he knows I don't speak German. It's little stuff, like our, our common courtesy, we'll always reply to him in German. Yeah. Even though he comes to us in English, we've replied to him the quote. So you'd always like, go to Google Translate and just so, translate? So uh, what I do, I, I do the quote in English, send it to Julian, Julian quickly translates it into German, and Julian will, will forward it on. So now, Owen's going to tell us why you should always double check your translations. you carry that same thing before you had yours? Would you still like translate or not? Uh, I do, but I, I, I've been, I've been held, <laughs> held over the baby a few times to Google Translate. So uh, go back a couple of years ago, I don't know if I told you this, um, it was... Uh, in France, and it was, it was the global chip shortage for the docking station. So, so it's 2020? 2021. 2021. Uh, so I did an e shot to a big French, well, the biggest French reseller out there, and it, it was like hundreds of people. And I used Google Translate, and I said, due to the global chip shortage, uh, a lot of people are struggling to get docking stations. Please see below our options. Send it across, and uh, to my horror, after I send the email, it, it can, I can, I use another translate just yeah. to double check actually and said due to french fry shortage <laughs> the french what? the french fry shortage rice shortage <laughs> french, french fries oh uh, french fries shortage pe pepper right. chip right and, and, that's and, so and, funny uh, yeah french and, fries it, shortage yeah instead of, instead of chip I was like oh my, <laughs> I was like, oh my god hilarious. I felt like literally I crawled into my seat <laughs> went right to bed and started sweating Oh but man, I, I hate that sh**. Yeah. You've done something wrong, yeah. it's horrible, isn't it? I just swear, a few people got back to me and actually I had a couple of quotes on the back of it. They said, oh, I can speak English. Um, yeah, and, 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 and it's obviously this quote that the chance like two water grey and they laughed and made a joke of it. But did you send another email and say, sorry, I'm in the chip? No, I did. I, I was hoping that only email, I want everyone to read my emails. Yeah. That's the only one I thought, oh, I see my name and I put it in the junk. That might be one of the things where it's like, all, good, all publicity is good publicity. Yeah, yeah. Because what I'm starting to get out of my own head is like, when you worry about how you come off, if you come off in any way, it's mm -hmm. kind of good because people will remember. So yeah, when I was in the car, the car place, uh, we had like, it's like, it's a Welsh version of um, Watchdog. Yeah. Or X-Ray or whatever it was. It was, a, it was a, and it was a long story short, one of the, the guys, if we had ad cards, so, they call the doorbuster to get people in. They're really cheap, but they, they've been sold. Yeah. Legally, they have to be there. And they called one of the guys saying, buddy, that, that was gone three weeks ago. That's just a game of the door. Oh, and I gave you a more expensive car. And they made you a day. And they put it And they were still making live adverts a couple of days before. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. And, and there's uh, adverts. And then we had a film crew outside then doing the, the news, just doing a proper thing mm -hmm. on it. And the owner, everyone's like, <laughs> the owner's a proper salesman. He knows the score. He's loving it. Yeah, I think it's all good. That's he's, like, he's a proper tell boy. He's like, oh, it, it, don't worry about it, guys. It's, oh, it's nothing such as bad publicity. And he, he was like that. And, and everyone's like really worried, but he, he knew his <laughs> he knew He knew what the score was. They said that same thing back when I used to work at Dreams. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there when this happened. It was like the year before I got there, but they had something. I think it was to do with the finance, or yeah. don't quote me on it. I don't know for sure. But they had Watchdog, and it was the busiest day they'd ever had in company history the day after Watchdog had been in. <laughs> Yeah, so man, yeah. just goes to show. Yeah. I think it's one of the things that scares you more than the actual thing. Like, if Watchdog was coming to do anything, something on us, obviously they wouldn't. We're a perfect company. But if they did, right, we'd immediately be like, ah, oh, nah, Watchdog, but in actuality, it'd probably be good for the business. Be good for it, yeah, well. And every single company has something which yeah. they could get picked up on. Definitely. So, uh, yeah. It's like if they want to get you, they're going to get you. So you yeah. might as well just take it with grace, but Yeah, and like, everyone was panicking, and he just owned it, which uh, and, uh, that shows the uh, successful business one as well. Definitely. But yeah, nice. sick. So big day with uh, <laughs> keep putting through these quotes then, and to win more loyalists. Hopefully, we can get so some. I more. think all of them will come in. Really? Uh, I think, and is it, that could be a couple of grand today? But, uh, <laughs> as well, uh, I, I, I'm saying fifteen hundred. It's so many different lines. Yeah, I am. 
I sent you the thing. Yeah. It's so I, I don't know. It's just yeah. Is it like a, it's got like a lot of uh, like high value stuff on it as well? It's all low. It's all low value. But loads of bits. It's like fifty it? lines of like, all from China. Yeah. You know, it's all it's all phone cases. Right. Uh, like I thought it was like a Ricky quote, you know? No, no it's a proper, it's proper a JLC quote, which is even better. Right, nice. Uh, and a Laura usually with um, PFE, yeah, 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 but when they when the, they ask for a quote because it, it's a sourcing agent, it's when they can't find this camp managers can't find the cases, they come to us. Nice. So we've been like the last resort, but that means they they draw the order. And uh, without getting into specifics for the camera, any luck on the device hunt? No, not yet. I bet. And yes, that's what she loves doing as well. She, I think she's done purchasing in the past, so something she's passionate about. Mm-hmm. Looking to basically, we're on the cusp of finding a new connect for devices, and if we get the new connect, then we'll be able to sell devices a lot, lot cheaper and be a lot more competitive. And well, it's not just important to sell the devices. A lot of customers will just go to a device supplier and claim all the time for the cases. They'll say it's a case, a black silicone case with this device. Yeah. And they call them in, so we do miss out on business for that. So it's very important, not just to get a, a good margin on the devices, but also all the accessories and peripherals to go with the devices as well. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one, brother. Good luck. Yeah, it's thanks. Yeah, it's been a big day. Feeling good. Today is a very special day because it's pancake day. And because of that, everyone gets to make pancakes. But they don't seem too happy to see me. <laughs> just just, just, just Wow, so those pancakes. Did you just steal a pack of pancakes? You guys can eat them. Jesus Christ. Go on, you can eat them. It's fine. You can't take a whole packet, Josh. There's plenty of pastries. There's loads more people. Not just all about you, mate. It's just pancakes. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, they're the best ones. Throw them in two steps. What's everyone's pancakes saying? Lemon and sugar. Tuna. Ugh. Nah, sure. <laughs> Why is no one else coming in? You guys gonna eat it? Nah, I'll wait for it to go now. What do you mean there's, there's no one in here? There's three people in here. <laughs> Harry, what are you gonna have in the pancakes? Really like I don't eat them, mate. I'm just making a coffee. Okay. I'll let you smack them in there. You know? When yeah. they spout the water. I'll let you smack them in there. I don't want to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Pancakes, man. Oh, yeah. Here, wait, no. I need the knife. I think. Do you even put that in the microwave? Thanks. I'm about to. Oh my God, I, I, smart, my technique is doing that after, see? That it goes all round. yogurt on a pancake? Yeah, that looks nice. Who is yogurt? That's a bit burnt. See, that's what happens when you're old. You look like a bird. Get out, get away. <laughs> Josh, you are Meltis. butchering that. What is it? Stop, leave me alone. Melted goodness. Yeah. <laughs> um. I want to get one small one. Wait, as well. That's not small <laughs> Um, Your biscuit is it, spreading. Yeah. I would have probably had a bit too much microwaving, but well. Which one's that? You've got double microwave jobs. Triple. No. Maybe you can have one. No, I want to be good. Are you going to go to the gym and then you wipe it off? You, you sprinkle go. extra on the top. <laughs> Just. <laughs> that's <laughs> not. <laughs> so behind the scenes of behind the scenes. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Shrove Tuesday. I nearly burnt my pancake. <laughs> Do you reckon Biscoff and Greek yogurt, or is that a weird mess? Mm. Finally, having a pancake? No, Do you I'm, eat it best? I'm a vegan. Is it not vegan? <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like them. There you go, this is for Charlie. I've made it nice. So it's got Nutella, Biscoff, and maple syrup and sugar on. Where's the lemon juice? No, that'll ruin it. That will ruin it. That will. Don't what, know. What about the blueberries? Nah, you've got it. It's a mess. And no blueberries. blueberries. You know what's in it. You're supposed to wrap it up, so it's supposed to be a surprise. Thank you. It's just You're a welcome. No- it's a normal pancake. I wanted to mess it up more. Why? He wanted to put funny. chili on it. I would have chili. See, look, you would have been fine with that. Oh, that'd be nice. But not this. He was adamant he couldn't have chili, but he went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's too far. Not not like Greek yogurt. What about a bit of salt, like salty caramel vibes? Half oh, that. What? Some blues. A bit of salt, yeah. A bit of salt, and don't don't forget the, the spicy sauce. A little bit of spice. <laughs> Uh, he's, oh, 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 oh. Uh, he's, oh, oh. Can I have some blue tissue, please? Yeah. Well, I shook it, not realizing that someone had taken the lid off. Uh, he's, oh, oh. Who would do that? Who would do you. that? You're gonna have to wrap it up so you can know what's in it. <laughs> That's disgusting. It looks like mint sauce. It smells. Anything else? Get the cubes. Delicious. And this is for Charles, yeah? Yeah, you gotta you got wrap it up. Should we like reheat it? It's a bit cold. Are you just having lemon and sugar? Yeah, lemon and sugar. You said you weren't gonna have one. 
No, this is just my pure... Huh? My, my workout, my uh, food before the gym. I'm pointing the finger. Let's oh give, my god, let's that give looks... That. It smells delicious, doesn't it? I sure. don't want to smell it. Charlie, <laughs> we got something delicious for you. Just, just please remember, Charlie, that maple syrup, nah. uh, some lemons. Nah. Here you, go. you said you they, wanted they it. They mentioned chilli yeah. last time. No, we ran out of the chili. Nah. <laughs> nah. I can actually smell it. I can smell it. Yeah. Try it. I can try smell it. Charlie, I can smell it. come on. I can see it. Charlie, this is specially made for you. Look at it. That's just a normal sauce. It's great. Sauce. Look at that. Come on, Charles. We literally spent. We you didn't lie to me. I would have had it. It was special. But it's not chili. If he has a bite, can you get into the start of the week? Yeah. I'll do the start of the week. Yeah, go on. I wouldn't have it all. A, bi a big bite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not spicy, it's grim. That is disgusting. Sorry, language, that is disgusting. I forgot I can't swear. No, you can swear, it's just extra work. Okay. <laughs> How do you rate that out of 10? Um, I'll give it a 4. You may have seen on episode 1 that James made a triple hot chocolate in Armour. Well, now the UK wants a shot at the crown. Would you like to meet Danny? Oh, it's broken. Danny's broke! Oh my god. Just Here's Danny the dinosaur. Pop him in. We'll use a wooden yeah. spatula, hang on. There he is in his little hot tub. He's chilling. Should we add the marshmallows now or after? Maybe after. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. I saw it in the Aldi and I could not buy it for you. Mmm. <laughs> 8 out of 10. 8, Eight out, out of 10. 10. What could be better? Did you even want a hot chocolate? <laughs> I mean, it was, an, it was a lovely <laughs> surprise. <laughs> you never guess what? I found Beak's mug next to the toilet the other day, so we had to bin it. What do you mean next to the toilet? So, you open the door and there's the toilet. Say the toilet was here and the mug was there. In the men's, how weird. In the men's? Yeah, so like, here's the toilet and there was Beak's mug. So James said, there might be on it, bin it. So I binned it. Do you want to rate it? It surely would though, wouldn't it? I just not trust you. No, you don't trust I just drank some. Go on. You spiked me earlier. I just drank With some. Sauce. No, you can watch back the video. I'm not doing it. It's just a bit of chocolate, don't be scared. It's just a bit of chocolate and milk. It's just a bit of chocolate, don't be scared. After the hot chocolate attempt, we catch up with the team on Pancake Day. How's the day gone so far? It's a bit wet and uh, we're getting a roof done, so <laughs> has that yeah. caused any problems? Um, so yeah, a few little problems earlier. They started on the roof, um, even though it's raining, so I was a little bit surprised that they actually turned up today. Um, it was raining, so they made a start on it. Probably wasn't the best idea, because we have had a few big leaks in the warehouse see, today. There's a, there's a massive tarpaulin. Yeah, as you can see, the tarpaulin. Oh, so we've got that over uh, protecting the stock. Yeah, just trying to get the communication from these guys is just what I'm struggling with, because I like to know exactly what's happening yeah they're a little bit um a little bit poor at communication should i say okay. so so yeah they've um they've, they've gone in for the day now because it's raining so yeah we're just trying to focus on with the operation and not get distracted by it how's, how's the day going sorry you enjoy your pancakes um, <laughs> yeah uh, my pancakes was lovely don't see my leg why nah look 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 what oh what's that from football is the is roof being a pain? Yeah, leaks everywhere, dripping everywhere. As you can tell, I'll Mass, show you. Massive tarpaulin as well. Yeah, massive tarpaulin. A little shelter, a little campsite down here now. <gasps> yeah, where it's leaking through there. Oh, oh it's, it's drying out, but as you can tell. Yeah. You've got yeah. a bucket catching and everything. <laughs> but look at that thing up there. That thing's really splitting come through. That's there was a little bulge where that was there. And yeah, we put a thing over there. Mm -hmm. Stop. stop exactly <laughs> jesus christ well hopefully it'll stop raining soon and... well why don't we do it in the summer you know <laughs> yeah. then we could all that's go actually fair summer. enough that's fair enough why are you giggling <laughs> what? i don't pipe up <laughs> she does pipe up <laughs> it's been a great day actually do you know what so much has happened you'll be pleased to... what's happened we've had so many new calls yeah, from fine. guys um is this I about the business or is this yeah sorry guys personal? i have yeah. had so many <laughs> i am not i am not no let's <laughs> cut cut <laughs> um well, uh, uh yeah positive we've had um lives making loads of calls so that's a huge part of our role and she's had some really good calls today 
with a lot of newbies, wasn't it? Never heard of us before. Yeah, so four newbies. They sent. They all went like really positive. So that's good. Another another guy just randomly called me work related <laughs> and came to us with a with a nice off actually for some docking stations. What else is happening? I've I've been the calls from the guys have picked up like Penny, Jack and Joel. They've been calling out loads. It's actually been quite a good day. I'd say quite productive. Busy. Yeah, I Lovely. know, right? Yeah. How's today been going? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's been going all right. You know, it's nice having pancakes. It always helps. Just been hard at work. Well, yeah. And eating pancakes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Right. How's, how's today? <laughs> Today's been very good, actually. Um, very good day. Too easy. Yeah. Big business is picking up. A big sample, but well, not a big sample, but big uh, potential potential order we're working on at the moment. Uh, some styluses couple high numbers. Uh, <laughs> we've sent some samples out to the customer, so we'll see how that goes. We're up against some big partners, some other partners. So um, yeah, I'm quite confident though. It's a solid product and the price is much better than where we need to be at. So uh, I am quite confident on that one. Yeah, you have to tell me when, uh, when it comes to Oh yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated. Don't worry. We'll keep you the, we'll keep you the know, you know. How's the day been going? Is it a good day, bad day? Been, it's been a day. It's been a day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, I feel like a lot of my work at the minute is, is happening in the early, in the morning. And then like, by the time I've like, got to the afternoon, like, I've not really focused on anything that I've kind of set out to do. So yeah, I've been like quite reactive, actually. Yeah, a lot of time. Yeah, we're, we're up against it at the moment. A lot of tenders need to be submitted with the expectation of being place before in March. March is going to be, well, March is going to be mega. I think March is going to be good. Fingers crossed. Fingers. I'm actually getting a call now from a guy I've been hunting for a minute, so I'll leave yeah, yeah. I don't know if you see the water. So, oh my God. as you can see, the roofers went home lunchtime today, said everything was patched up, and we've got a big bulge where the roof is joining, the new roof is joining the old roof. So I, can see, are... I can see the skylight through that tarpaulin. Yeah. So we're just putting some buckets here as a precaution. Buckets as a precaution overnight, covering the stock. So we've got that protected and clearing the area. We've got our pads down, so that's as prepared as we can be. Best as it gets. It's not <laughs> ideal, is it? <laughs> Don't really want bulge in your ceiling drift more, but... John made such a fair point that we should have just... This should have been done in summer. Yeah. Just set the stock at all costs out. Be that way. Stock. And now, what you've all been waiting for. The end of day figures. So time is... 734 Holland, 634 UK. We have the results here from Barrett. So we will start with Europe. <laughs> Profit over 4,137 euros, 34 cents sales on nine orders process. So busy, busier on the process and the profit and the sales. But yeah, we need continue big days. So keep the speed guys. And hopefully we get your big boy over the line tomorrow, Jules. And well done, win the day today, Jules. <laughs> Profit, great job, brother. Decent day, wasn't it, Andy? It was, yeah, it was really good. It was really good in Europe. And uh, average day today in the UK. <laughs> Profit, over £22,618 sales so decent on the profit and over 180 orders processed as well so busy on the orders processed nice one win of the day ricky <laughs> yeah great run rate as well harry and penny yeah nice one guys i look forward to seeing what tomorrow brings yeah we didn't win breakfast today but bring on tomorrow <laughs> nice cheers